Hi guys, so if you want to see how I achieved this like half pretty, half gory look, then just keep watching and yep, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye. So we're going to start off by using nose and scar wax. Now I'm using the Ben Nye nose and scar wax because I just feel like it's the easiest one to work with. And you want to put Vaseline all over your fingers because that way it won't stick and then pull up and you just want to blend that in properly. And you can make it into a little sausage shape so it's easier to apply to your skin. You can also use spirit gum before you apply the wax and to do that you just apply a strip and then you just dab it to make it tacky but I didn't do that because I haven't got the remover and you need the remover to remove it obviously. To blend out the actual wax, I just put Vaseline on my fingers and then just rub it in until it goes smooth to my skin. Some bits are a little bit bumpy but that just makes a better effect I think because not all cuts are super smooth. And yeah, we're just going to carry on doing that until we've got the desired effect. I'm using this little spatula and I've also put Vaseline on the spatula so it doesn't stick to it. And I'm then removing bits I don't need if I think there's a bit too much. and. I'm just going to carry on blending it out. Using the pointed end of the spatula, we're going to create a cut down the middle of the wax. That way it will make our skin appear like it has been cut. You want to make sure the spatula is covered in Vaseline, that way it isn't going to pull the wax off. And also, you need to make sure that you don't press on too hard and you want to press on lightly, otherwise it is going to give you a real cut. Now using some translucent powder, we're going to powder over the wax just to make sure that the shine isn't there, that way it will look more realistic. Using a very light matte foundation and also white snazzery face paint, we're going to mix it together and apply it all over our face. I find this really strange because it more or less matches my neck colour. And now this is mixed mainly with white, so it does show how pale I am. It's also important to apply this colour onto your ears because most people have a pinkish ear tone and we don't want that, we want it to look the same colour as our skin so yep, we need to go ahead and cover it and then slightly dabbing over the um, nose and scar wax just to make it look a bit porcelain Then taking a very thin brush, you want to apply a black grease paint or face paint into the cut we've created, that way it will give it some definition. I'm then going in with like a burgundy mixed with red and I'm tapping that all over the cut just to make it look a bit bloody. what we mixed before and I'm applying it over my nose because I forgot to apply it there and I'm just blending that red bit out a tiny tiny bit and then we're going to set it in place using the translucent powder we used earlier. Taking a white eyeliner we want to line our waterline just to make our eyes appear slightly bigger than they already are. Then going in with a brown eyeshadow we're going to slightly go over our crease just to make it look a bit more defined. And then I'm adding a peach colour all over my lid just for the sake of it really. And then we're going in and filling our eyebrows in and I'm just doing what I normally do but with a pencil instead of the pomade. And yeah, we're just going to fill our eyebrows in how we would normally have them. And then setting them in place with my brow gel. I'm now applying a coat of mascara all over my eyelashes. I'm mainly focusing on my top lashes because I don't want much on the bottom. I'm now going in with a cream blusher, I feel like this gives more pigment off so yeah I'm applying this all over the apples on my cheeks and moving it slightly up onto my cheekbones and then tapping over it with the foundation colour just because it blends it in slightly more and then using this beautiful pink shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's in the shade Unicorn, it is so pretty. using one of these makeup sponges and I've ripped it in half and then on one half I'm pulling chunks out of it and we're going to set that aside for later and then using greys, browns, blacks and reds and just putting the colour everywhere just anywhere really and I'm applying like darker bits near my eyes so it looks a bit more dead and sunken in and then I'm going in with the red and just making my skin look dirty 
you want to make sure the colours you are using are matte because obviously people that are half dead or dead or whatever they do not have shine to their face. I'm now using the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel and the Holy Sponge that we ripped up earlier and, and I'm applying that all over my face and I'm using different colours from the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel just so it gives us like slightly more of a dead look and the sponge and the holes will give us slightly more like definition and it will just give us more of like a skin texture than just like just one blob of colour. Now that the lipstick's dried, I'm going over it with the Melted Bunny by Too Faced just to give my lips a bit of a shine. And then I'm going in with this Ben Nye eyeshadow and it is in White Pearl and I'm using that to highlight because it is the lightest one I have. I'm then going in with Flesh Scab by Ben Nye and this is my most favourite fake blood because it's all goopy and gross looking. And I'm applying that to the cut and then I'm making like little scabby cuts on my forehead and my cheek and also in the inner corner of my eye. Now going in with stage blood and this blood is really really runny so you can use it to make dripping effects etc and I'm just applying this where I think it will look good and yeah I'm just applying it near my eyebrow and on the cut and just making it look like it's running down my face. I'm then taking my super big paddle brush and I'm back combing my pigtails. Are they even pigtails because it's not in a plait? Anyway, they're in two ponytails at the side of my head and it looks more doll like so I'm just going to back comb it just to make it look a bit more crazy and have more volume to it and just look scruffy in general. Once you're happy with it you can then hairspray it to make sure it stays in place all day and then that is your completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as it will really really help me out and I will come back next week with another Halloween video. Bye!